everybody. Welcome back to Hudson's House of Play. I am Miss Lynn and you are joining me here for our craft tutorial. All of this week we introduced our theme of transportation, getting from one place to another, and our modes of transportation such as the train or our car or automobile, and today we discussed a boat and all forms of boats that you find on bodies of water traveling from one place to another. So for today's craft, we are going to make our very own propelled boat. Let's talk about the materials. First, for the body of your boat, I have some Tupperware. Now these are rectangular in shape and you can use anything similar to these pieces here. Um, sometimes you might use a cream cheese or margarine that comes in a container similar to this. That could work as well. Or you could just go through all of your random Tupperware and see if you have any of these sorts. Next, you'll ne need a pair of wooden chopsticks or you can use regular chopsticks if you have. Um, you can also use two pencils. You just need two long sticks like this second, oh, that was second, third, you need something to make your propeller with. So any of these types of lids that you might have lying around, they're plastic, but they're pretty soft and floppy, so they'll be easy to cut down into a shape. So these are great. You can also use the takeout lids as well. Now, what's next? We'll need some tape, rubber bands, a pair of scissors, and then anything that you might want to decorate your boat with. Miss Lynn is just going to take you through the steps of making a very simple propeller boat, and then you guys are responsible for kicking it up a notch and decking it out with your own de decorations. So let's decide on our body of the boat first. I'm going to use this little guy. I'll put this one back for another day. And the first step is to take your two chopsticks and you'll be taping them alongside the body. You want to make sure you have a pretty long uh, extended part of the chopstick. So Miss Lynn is just going to have my chopstick just like this. I need a tiny little bit from the top and the rest needs to extend at the end. And I'll show you what that's going to look like when I tape it on. So first step. Let's do that. We'll tape our chopsticks on both sides. All right, I need a couple pieces of tape, so I'll just tear these up and make sure I tape down my chopstick nicely. So I'm gonna put it right here, make sure I line it up straight, and then I'll show you what it looks like once I've taped it all down. And you want to use a good amount of tape to make sure that it stays nice and secure onto the side of your boat's body so it doesn't pop off. And I'll show you exactly how Miss Lynn did it. See, I just put a bunch of strips of tape to hold my stick right there. Now I'm going to do that same thing on the other side. Grabbing my tape. Again, I'm going to make sure I line it up so that it's close to the other one. And then I'm going to tape it down and I'll show you exactly how it's going to look one step at a time. Alright, that's one. I'm going to add a few more strips of tape here. Make sure it's nice and secure. We don't want it to pop off when we test this out in the water and you can take this into your tub with you for a fun um, experiment in the bath or you can bring it into the pool or a pond nearby you'll be really amazed at how it works all right so both sides miss lynn has taped her chopstick see that all right now let's get our uh, rubber bands ready to go so I just want to put a rubber band around the tip of our two 
chopsticks on the front here just to keep them together because I'm also gonna put some rubber bands in the back. So let me start with that. I'm gonna take, I have a big rubber band here, so I'm gonna take this one and I'm just gonna tie it around a couple times and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I just simply took the rubber band and I wrapped it around the two tips of my chopsticks right at the top, see? Just like that, nothing crazy. Kind of pinches in my, it pinches my container a little bit, but that's okay. This is a plastic container, that's why it's getting pinched. And don't worry, we're gonna put a rubber band in the back as well. I just have a single small one in the back here. There it is. So I have my front rubber band pinched together, and then I have my back rubber band that has the two chopsticks cinched together as well. Now, that is all we need for the body of our propeller boat. You can start decorating from here, but before you get started, let's talk about the piece that is going to actually propel this boat forward. I'll show you what it is going to look like and how we're gonna cut it down. So it's going to look like this rectangle piece that has three slits down the center here doesn't go all the way to the end, it just comes down to the middle. So here you can see the slits here. See that? All right, now how do we do that? Grab a plastic lid. First thing you wanna do is cut a small rectangle, all right? And this rectangle needs to be able to fit between your two chopsticks. So here's your two chopsticks you need to be able to fit it right between because it's going to be spinning around on this rubber band. So that's the first thing you will wanna do. Miss Lynn is going to estimate and I can always cut it down to size if I need. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and cut a rectangle out of my cap, my lid here. And remember if it's your first time using scissors, have an adult help you with the scissors because they can be very sharp and dangerous and we don't want anyone getting hurt. All right, here is a rectangle that I just cut out and I'm going to look to see if it fits between. Well, it's pretty good, but I'm gonna trim it down a tiny bit so that it will spin freely and it won't get Alrighty, here we go. Yes, here is my piece, and I am going to add this onto the rubber band. How? Well, I'm going to cut some slits on here. Let me show you. So you can hold it long ways or you can hold it short ways, uh, sideways, it doesn't matter. I am just simply gonna cut three little slits all the way to the middle. So that's one, and two, and I have three, three flaps here. One, two, three. Now what do I do here? This is a slightly tricky part. I'm going to loop the slit through one side of the rubber band. So I'm gonna loop inside just like this. Let me show you. See, it looks just like this. And then I'm gonna take the other piece, the free piece that I haven't looped through, I'm gonna loop it through the other slits. So here we go. I'm gonna show you what it looks like front to back. Don't you worry. I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, so look, whoa, that's how it's gonna work. Look at it from the back, and then let's check it out from the front. That's it, okay. Now, how does this work, Miss Lynn? Well, I'm gonna take you guys outside and we are gonna test it out. But basically what happens is you are going to hold your boat like this and you're just gonna wind this baby up. Just wind it up a ton. And when you prop it into the water, you're gonna let it go and it's gonna spin. I hope you saw that. Let me get nice and close for you to see, Miss Lynn's just winding this up. I'm just flipping it and flipping it and then watch when I let go. Oh, all right, let's take this outside and see how it does. Ready? 
Okay guys, it's the moment of truth. Let's test out our propeller boat. So what you wanna do here is you're going to start rotating the propeller as far as it will go. Keep twisting it and twisting it and you'll see the rubber band twisting on the ends as well. Once you've twisted it enough, you're going to lower your boat into the water and once you're there, let the propeller go and release the boat. There it goes, and there you have it. I hope you had a fun time creating your propeller boat, and I will see you guys next time.